Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and welcome to episode 23 of Garage Wars, the series where I showcase your guys' best modded garages. If you're looking to also get featured in one of these, make sure to let me know you're subscribed and you have a cool modded garage to showcase. Now, here's today's notification shout out up on the screen. If you want to win one too, make sure you got the bell turned on so you're one of the first to type hashtag Hacky Army in the comments. And just before we get into the video, if you go on to enjoy it, take a second to drop a like on it. That'd be awesome. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub because you do not want to miss any more videos like these. And why not help us get to 100,000 subs? That'll be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, though, let's get straight into it. So first up, we got Fast 2's Garage. Let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, we got the GP1. I don't see the GP1 modded too often. He's got the nice modded dark purple paint job with like the candy red pearlescent. That looks really nice on it. And it looks like a midnight purple color on the F1 wheels. Not sure if that's selected or unselected, but still a really nice design and a really cool car. Next up, we have a beautiful paint job on the Tesseract. He's got like a candy Candy type paint job with like the neon red and the pink on it matching red on the f1 wheels with the red branding on it next up we got the future shock impaler he's got basically just a regular chrome on it with a nice blue color on the secondary this actually looks pretty cool honestly chrome on the primary and the modded color on the secondary is pretty underrated like it's actually a pretty cool design and it looks like he's got the frost white on the benny's wheels right there next up we got the nero custom with this like reddish pinkish paint job with the yellow pearlescent and that is ice white on the benny's wheels this time which is nice to see next up we have a really cool neon green color on the tally gto he's got the green branding on the f1 wheels on the black i can tell that's an unselected black on the f1 wheels which is nice and the blinked in on the back i'm a big fan of this neon green color really nice design right there next up we have a really nice modded purple color he's got this like darker type modded purple with a bright purple pearlescent and then those nice like chrome looking bennies pretty clean and nice looking design on that one now on to floor number two we're going to be starting off with the xa21 he's got a nice secret gold on it it looks like frost white on the wheels unfortunately besides the frost white on the wheels it does look really nice though next up we got the the menacer with the dollar livery on it he's got the ice white bennies on it those are pretty freaking big wheels i've seen this design before though next up we got the hellfire he's got the purple with the bluish pearlescent on it looking really nice and once again the ice white bennies and the blinkton on the back of it which is nice to see next up we have an all white t20 nice marshmallow wheels and a white paint job of course pretty basic no yanked plate on this one though next up we have the beautiful thrax this is a really nice black and red combo he's got the Deadpool yank to plate on the back of it so this is meant to be a Deadpool design really nice I'm a fan of these black and red combos next up we got the Revla GTS in this like purplish bluish color he's got the white f1s on it personally I think Benny's wheels look a lot better on the Revla GTS it is a nice paint job though and he's got the blinked in on the back of it next up we have a really nice paint job on the ZR380 this paint job is like in between a rose gold and like a peach paint job it's like right in between that he's got the black f1 wheels with the red branding on it up to the third floor we're going to be starting off with a Karakar. This is like the bigger version with a minigun on the back of it. This one's also like a peach type paint job, like that specific color right there. He's got the beautiful looking ice white F1s with the red branding. The Karakar is one of the best cars to put F1 wheels on for sure. Next up, we got the beautiful Buffalo with this beautiful paint job. It's like a reddish pinkish type paint job with like a peach pearlescent. He's got the unselected black F1 wheels with the red branding, of course, to match it up nicely. Really nice design on that one. Next up, we got the Lost Slam Van. I have seen this design before. He's got the dark purple paint job with the blue pearlescent and the ice white bennies next up we got the cavalcade or i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that hopefully i pronounce that name somewhat right but we all know this suv it was also in gta 4 as well he's got this nice like orange paint job with the yellowish pearlescent looking really nice black f1 wheels with the red branding once again next up we have an awesome looking peanut butter jelly paint job on the dominator gtx this looks absolutely clean the gold bennies wheels match up perfectly with a pearlescent on this that's definitely one of the cleaner peanut butter jelly designs next up we got the toros in this nice blue crew chrome nice to see a crew chrome paint job here he's got the f1 wheels on it i think benny's wheels would also look a little bit better on this but it still does look nice now for the final car we got the zentorno with this awesome looking turquoise paint job nothing much to say about this one it's just a nice paint job with the ice white bennies and then the blankton on the back of it now let's go ahead and tell him what he got your final rating is 8.4 all right now we got az's garage let's go ahead and check it out so first car we got the coquette classic of course he's got the invisible back he's also got a blinked in right there pretty interesting design he's got the blue pearlescent matching up with the blue flames and then like a burgundy red on the paint job and then he's got the red branding on that fun wheels matching it up with that and the ice white color on that fun wheels themselves pretty cool first car next up we got the albany lurcher i really like this design it's like a neon red paint job with the red outline on the benny's wheels to match it up nicely if you don't know this is the exclusive 
exclusive Halloween vehicle. He's got the skull on the livery right there on the front. Pretty cool second car. Next up, we have a lava paint job on the Cyclone. He's got the red branding on the black F1 wheels. That is unselected, I could tell. So a nice job on that. Next up, we have a peach paint job on the Tesseract. Super sleek paint job. He's got the subtle yellow pearlescent matching it up really nicely with that like peach colored paint job and the ice white on the Benny's wheels to go along with that. Next up, we have a Toy Story Dubsta 6x6. Just a nice Toy Story design with the blue and then the green and the red and the yellow. And I'm guessing he probably has the Toy Story Yankton plate on the back. I can't really see back there. Next up, we got the Frankenstein. This is actually the second exclusive Halloween vehicle along with the Albany Lurcher right there. He's got this nice like white and purple. The purple color on the flames looks really, really cool. He's got the purple on the interior. This is a bit of a darker purple. In my opinion, purple and white is actually a super underrated combo. Going up to the second floor now, we have the Sanctus. This is the exclusive Halloween bike. So he basically has all of the exclusive Halloween vehicles. He's got this like peach looking paint job on it as well with the yellow on the wheels to match it up i'm guessing with a pearlescent next up we got the bestia this is like a really nice sunset type paint job nice orange color with the yellowish pearlescent it just reminds me of a nice looking sunset and the too fast yankton plate that's also cool really cool car really cool paint job and overall design next up we got the lifeguard van he's got the matching secret gold on the benny's wheels obviously to match it up with the paint job can't go too crazy with the lifeguard van so he did match it up nicely right there next up we have another secret gold this time we got the bjxl in secret gold he's got Michael in the back seats. If you guys don't know, that is actually glitched. And then he's got the secret gold on the bunnies to match it up with the paint job. Next up, we got the Schlagen in secret gold. No spoilers, surprisingly. I think this car looks a lot better with the spoiler. He's got the ice white bennies with the yellow pearlescent, obviously, to match it up with the paint job. Next up, we have a super mean looking design on the Thrax. This looks absolutely amazing. I think it's meant to be a Batman design. He's got like the black and yellow combo. This looks straight mean. Not sure if the color on the paint job and the wheels are selected or unselected, though. But besides that, it looks really cool next up we have a peanut butter jelly krieger i do like those bunnies wheels although the color on them might be selected i'm not too sure going up to the third and final four it looks like we have like a purple theme going on which is cool we got like the locust or the locust whatever you want to call this vehicle gotta say a pretty rare modded car i definitely don't see it very often he's got the blankton on the back of it with this nice like purple paint job with a blue pearlescent and those ice white bunnies wheels definitely look pretty cool on it as well good job on that one next up we got trevor's truck with this beautiful like galaxy type paint job i even have this paint job myself on it. He's got the teddy bear on the front of it. He's got the nice looking bennies as well. Personally, I think F1s look better on it, but still a nice design. Next up, we got the 8F Drafter. Nice to see a crew chrome paint job. It's super shiny as you guys can see and just a beautiful overall car. I like the bennies wheels on it as well. Next up, we got the Comet Retro Custom. This one's more of like a baby purple, I'd say. He's got the pinkish pearlescent on it, and then I'm guessing that's a selected purple on the F1 wheels. Next up, we got the Hakachu Drag. Don't see this bike very often. He's got a nice paint job on it. It's basically the same paint job as on the Comet Retro Custom, I think. Maybe a tad bit different, but still nice bike. Next up, we have a super light purple color on the Adder. He's got the Ice White F1s on it. And then it looks like some sort of like orangish, pinkish type pearlescent on it. I can't exactly see. It's a little hard to see. It does look pretty nice though. Next up for the final car, actually, we got the Neon with this beautiful modded blue color. Super nice looking blue. I've seen this design before. He's got the bright blue pearlescent with those Ice White Bennies. Your final rating is 8.4.